the difference between ArcGIS Desktop and ArcGIS Pro. Let's check a little bit of a history about both of them. ArcGIS Desktop, the first release was in 1999 and it was version 8.0 and it came to replace ArcInfo and ArcView and if you don't know any of that, that's fine because it's really old version of Esri applications and it's not in use anymore. The last ArcGIS Desktop version is 10.8.1 and it was released in July 2020 and this is the version that we are using in our course. The last version for ArcGIS Desktop, some people say that it's 10.8.1, the current one is the last one, but we are not sure. Maybe Esri will release another version or two, but soon it will be over and we won't have any new versions of ArcGIS Desktop. When you install ArcGIS Desktop, you get ArcMap, ArcCatalog, ArcScene, ArcGlobe, and the License Administrator. ArcGIS Pro released in 2015, and the first version was 1.1.1. The last version is 2.6.3, and it was released in November 2020, and it will keep going because this is a new product, and as you will release new versions for ArcGIS Pro. And when you install ArcGIS Pro, you only get ArcGIS Pro by itself because it includes everything you need inside one application. So now what is each application is used for? Basically, both of them can do the same exact thing. You can create maps, you can create data, you can manage your geospatial data, you can use geoprocessing and geoanalysis, you can manage geodatabases and ArcGIS server connections. On both of them, you can connect to ArcGIS online, you can use Python script on both of them. You can do a lot of things on both applications. And actually, because ArcGIS Pro is replacing ArcGIS Desktop, so everything you can do here, you can do here as well. So now if both doing the exact same thing or will do the exact same thing, what is the purpose to have ArcGIS Pro? The main comparison between both is performance. ArcGIS Pro created on a modern software architecture that will allow ArcGIS Pro to be much faster and give you better performance and have a better compatibility with modern and future computers. So ArcGIS Pro is built on .NET, ArcGIS Desktop is built on COM, ArcGIS Pro can work on 64-bit processors, ArcGIS Desktop only can work on 32-bit processors, which means ArcGIS Pro can work faster and can use more CPU. And when you work on ArcGIS Pro, you have unlimited use of the RAM, but for ArcGIS Desktop, it's limited to 4 gigabytes of RAM. ArcGIS Pro supports multi-core, multi-CPU, and GPU or graphics processor unit. And that means that ArcGIS Pro can use different processors and different CPU items in the same time, which ArcGIS Desktop cannot do. And all of these differences mean that ArcGIS Pro will have a better performance and will be able to use the maximum power of any computer it works on, which ArcGIS Desktop cannot do at that time because it is limited of the resources it can use on any computer. And with ArcGIS Pro, you get Python 64-bit as well. Also, ArcGIS Pro gives you full integration with ArcGIS Online and ArcGIS Enterprise or Portal. And also, there is a difference in the design of both applications. So ArcGIS Pro using ribbons, while ArcGIS Desktop is using toolbars. And on ArcGIS Pro, you can edit any hosted feature service on the fly. And ArcGIS Pro gives you the ability to work on multiple displays at the same time. What that means is when you install ArcGIS Desktop, you get five different applications that you run separately. So you have ArcMap where you create your 2D data. You have ArcCatalog where you manage the data and connect to ArcGIS Server and the geodatabases you have or ArcSD. And you have ArcGlobe where you manage 3D data on a larger scale. And you have ArcScene where you manage 3D data on a small scale. All that comes as one package in ArcGIS Pro. On ArcGIS Pro, as you see here on this image, you can create a map, you can create a catalog, you can create a globe scene or local scene, or you can view your license all through one interface. And actually you can work on all of them at the same time. So you can create a map, scene and globe all at the same time and switch between them inside the same application which save us a lot of time and give us much easier way to work on our data and our projects. Instead of working on different projects or different map documents, all the work can be done on one project on ArcGIS Pro. So now comes the question of which one you should learn or which one you should use. Actually, you should learn both of them. And the reason for that is that most organizations till today still using ArcGIS Desktop. And even the companies or the organizations that start using ArcGIS Pro, they use it right next to ArcGIS Desktop because the transition will take a lot of time. So if you are a student or a new user, you need to learn both of them, but make your focus more on ArcGIS Pro. 
As I said before, both of them do the same thing. But make sure you focus more on ArcGIS Pro because this is the future application. But you still need to learn about ArcGIS Desktop because most of the organizations still using it and will still use it at least for the next 3 or 5 years. For the users who only use ArcGIS Desktop, Please start using ArcGIS Pro as soon as you can. You have 21 days free trial to download ArcGIS Pro. So use this free trial and get ArcGIS Pro and learn as many things as you can on ArcGIS Pro. Because within the next few years, no one will use ArcGIS Desktop anymore and you have to move to ArcGIS Pro. So try to be ahead of yourself and move to ArcGIS Pro as soon as you can. And for the new ArcGIS users, who actually was ahead of themselves and they learn how to use ArcGIS Pro and they don't know anything about ArcGIS Desktop, well, congratulations. But in the same time, when you start working with organizations or if you are planning to work with different organizations and just to make sure that you know all what you need to know, you need to learn at least a little bit about ArcGIS Desktop because it will stay there for at least three to five years.